are some really packed matches early on. There's not too many like filler uh, players in this tournament, so you're really just seeing action after action on the screen. Everyone can take a big sigh of relief and another trade. I don't think he wants we get another. Looks <laughs> like three's the charm. Come on. Now I think what the big factor here is going to be how well Huna can get on her punish game because I know Peach has some really dangerous, really impressive punishes. Basically, he's um, Huna has to force uh, Lycan into a game of patty cake. Once you can do that. You're pretty much golden. If she gets him in trades, she can win. Because I know Lycan is... I don't know. Lycan's like... He's a switch up. He'll play aggressive, but if, if you camp, he'll oh, camp you right back. I he like how Lycan's movement has progressively been getting better, too. If you yeah. are looking at some of these little wave bounces he's doing here and there. Lycan's been actually practicing the game. He doesn't just play Brawl. He actually owns a copy of... I don't know. I, I wouldn't... <laughs> I wouldn't put my money on it. <laughs> I'm but. not going to say things I don't know. Here we go. Good escape, doesn't want to go for anything too fancy. Risk his, you know, lead. Just gonna get back on stage. And there we go with the slap. Actually not a slap, she's hitting him with the crown. Yeah, there was visibly no input for that wave mounts, especially at that level, so pretty safe option to go for. Oh, okay. Lycan is very fond of that side B flip when you're, whenever you're on a platform. Because people tend to shield often when they're on a platform. Okay. It's a good mind game, too, because it's going to make your opponent not want to shield. You're going to force them into jumping, and then you get free fares, etc., etc. Okay. He's doing a great job of keeping her locked. Oh, wow. She went backwards. Okay. That probably saved her. Like, when she's in the air, which is where Peach wants to be, it's it's kind of hard, because even in that float range, did he come from the <laughs> I was like, with all this rage, Lycan might catch the hands, but having some two enormous fists of his own, able to shut me up, that's for sure. That's absolutely 155% correct. Get your smack on, Lycan. Get your smack on. This is an interesting pick considering both deaths were off, you know, the vertical aspect of neutral. Yeah. And, like, what, what Peach usually goes for is those fair strings or, like, getting them off stage. So I'm kind of interested to see oh my the, the reasoning behind this pick. It's not always just the lower blast zone at, off the top. Sometimes it can be the platforms. Sometimes it can be just swapping into FD to, you know, mix up neutral. I'd like to see Huna go for a lot more float cancels and sort of play around in neutral, play around like in space, and get him to throw something that, uh, just quite frankly, not safe because she's going for a lot of trades and being very aggressive in the neutral. Yeah, and Lycan is just meeting her. If you can see now, it's getting a little bit predictable from Lycan's side, and his adaptation is exemplifying that to the fullest, with only like 15% on him and. Huna's almost ready to die. He just gets stronger as the set goes on if you don't adapt to what he's doing. Or change up your own play. Well, okay. <laughs> it's the same thing. Huna sort of being put into a cage here. Doesn't know how to get out. Just yeah. fair after fair. Lycan calls this one Lion's Barrage. He does? I don't know why. Yep. That's low-key sick. I'm not even going to lie. I'm actually lying to you. Follow the stream, guys. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Huna losing that first stock rather quickly. Only 30 seconds to pass in the second game. Lycan looking to take it at 2-0. Actually, that was a minute 30. Hello. Like, <laughs> follow the stream. Like, follow. Like, follow for accurate facts. Let's go. Either way, she was kind of okay. Dealing with some very intense pressure from Lycan. The Lycan barrage. The Lycan Barrage. Fair, fair. Oh, right. I thought he was going to come down with the backer. There she just waits. 
Kuna really has to figure something out, or Lycan's just gonna keep going with his offensive. Oh, almost lands the F-Smash and just like, whiffing hit after hit. That was a cute connection with that F-Tilt too. You don't see that too often uh, from Diddy players. Oh, the, the double punch, the Yamazuki? Yeah, the Yamazuki. <laughs> Yamazuki! He's like, you thought I was gonna punch you in the face, but really, it was a gut blow. Yamazuki! <laughs> Shout out to Kenichi, the mightiest disciple. Anyone that gets a reference, you're a god. Alright. Oh, Hyuna might be able to get a stock here in game two. It'd be nice. Ooh, was that a misinput? Air dodge. E she gave him the air dodge, but it's so floaty that he wasn't able to yeah, stay for he it. He was never gonna touch her no matter what. Oh, that was it. That's it. That was a good uh, read Ooh, there. All right. Okay. You can tell Huna's feeling the pressure here. Doesn't want it to end just yet. Lycan is all over Huna right we go. now. Well, that that's it. Mm. It's just he's putting so many hitboxes, like all around Huna, and like he's mixing it up too. So Huna doesn't know how to adapt because. Yeah, the thing it's like when you're playing.